Natasha Wright with Catawba Animal Clinic and today we are going to go over how to draw up and give an insulin injection. Many of my clients are often intimidated when I first prescribe insulin injections but it's really quite simple. With Wiley's help we are going to go over how to draw up and give the insulin injection. First you need to get your insulin out of the refrigerator. That's where you want to store your insulin to prolong the shelf life. You should mix the insulin by rolling it in your hands. You don't want to shake the vial, but you do want to mix up the contents, which may have settled. Now, your veterinarian will let you know what dose of insulin you need to give your pet. For Wiley, we're going to draw up three units. I'm going to insert the needle into the bottle. There's a little bit of air in the syringe. I'm going to depress the plunger so that I just inject that little bit of air into the bottle. Now I will draw down one, two, three units of insulin. If you get an air bubble in the syringe, it's completely fine to just draw down more and then inject back into the bottle to have the dose that you need. Again, there's three units of insulin to give to Wiley. Insulin injections are given subcutaneously, which means under the skin, anywhere on the pet's body. I like to pick an area where the skin is nice and loose, and I can tint the skin. I'm going to kind of fold his hair back so I can see, insert the needle into the skin, and depress the plunger. Wiley has now had his insulin injection. Many of my clients prefer to do this while their pets are eating is completely fine. Most pets do not seem bothered or even unaware that they have gotten their insulin injections. 